guys, we're here today to talk about how we can more appropriately handle our emotions. I understand that some of you are causing a few problems in school and I decided that it would be a good idea for you guys to work together to figure out better ways to express how you're feeling. First of all, I want to explain to you that whatever is said in group doesn't go out of group called confidentiality. I'm sure you all have heard of it. Doctor's office, dentist's office. Um, please don't talk about one another or what goes on in group. I do have confidentiality agreements for you all to sign. Angie, I will start with you. You can fill in your name in the first line, sign and date at the bottom. It states that you understand that during this group, confidentiality rules and regulations stand and you cannot talk about the happenings of the group outside of it. Um, the only reason necessary for possibly breaking confidentiality would be if you are aware that someone is uh, intentionally wanting to harm themselves or someone else. Okay? Yep. Okay. Got it? Yep. Thank you. outside of here but let's get to know one another my name is Kate I am the school counselor obviously at the high school as you all are well aware um, we're going to do something called the name game you're going to state your first name if you know the history behind your name why your parents named you what they did I would like you to talk about that and then I also want you to um, state one goal that you want to accomplish in this group so whoever wants to go first um, my name's Marty. Okay, Marty. hi Marty. Hi. I'm my last Marty. name's Flynn. And my real name's Martin. And I think it came from a family last name um, many generations back. And it's Scotch Irish. Okay. And what else do you want to hear? The go a goal. One goal that you want to accomplish during group. I want to have more friends and um, and not be mean to people whenever they do bad things to me. Okay, so you want to develop your social skills. And what do you mean by being mean to people? Well, if somebody takes something of mine, I get angry. And what happens when you get angry? Oh yell at them or call them a name. Okay, do you ever get physical? No, but I want to sometimes. Okay. So you'd like to control your anger a little better? I, yeah, I guess so. Alright. My name's Angie Don Giovanni. It's Italian. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, I guess a goal I would want able to maybe talk to people I don't know better, make more friends, and uh, be able to just be a little more outgoing to talk to people. Okay, that's a good goal. My name is Rebecca. Um, it's from the Bible. Um, my mom wanted to name me Emily, but my dad didn't like it, so they named me Rebecca instead. Um, a goal for me would be to how to manage my stress better so that I can do better in school and make my parents happy. That's a good goal. Okay, so today, to start things off, we are going to play a game. All right. Uh, after the game. All right, in front of you, you have a bag of Skittles. Each color in a bag of Skittles represents um, a different thing that you are going to talk about. Um, each of you 
need to sort your candies into the colors. No. no? Yes, please. And try and pay attention while you're doing that is what I am saying. I am going to have Rebecca start, and she can pick any color she wants. And with that color, I will give her what she is supposed to talk about, and then she has to, based on the number of that color of candies, has to give that many answers. So yeah. for you have a lot more candy than me. That's okay. okay. For example, um, say you had two reds, you would uh, explain to the group two things that you worry about. So what color would you like to pick? We'll make it a surprise. I'll go yellow. Okay. Good things about your family. So how many yellow do you have? I have three yellow. Okay. So you have to say three good things about your family. Um, my family, we always eat dinner together every night. Okay. So we get to talk about our days together. That's good. Um, my, my brother is very supportive of me and helps me out with my homework sometimes. Okay. And my parents are still married. I know a lot of kids, their parents are divorced, and that can cause them some stress, but my parents are still together. Okay, good. Can I eat them now? Um, just wait. <laughs> okay, so you're going to choose the next person to answer the same question based on the number of yellows that they have. <laughs> Marty, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go with you. I have a lot of yellows. I have a lot of yellows. So you need to count out, what, seven good things about your family. Okay. You can eat two of those if you want, if you can't think of seven. Okay, we'll see how I do. <laughs> All right. Um, um, my family also eats dinner together. You can't repeat things that the other person has said. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. My parents are there for me when I'm in trouble sometimes, and then they help me work through my problems. Okay, so that would be two. All right. <laughs> um, my parents are, they give me lots of praise whenever I do well. Okay. And it feels good. Okay. Um, my parents come to my sporting events. Okay. And I like it. What and about other good. family members, not just your parents? Do you oh. have any siblings, aunts, yeah. uncles, cousins? Um, I don't always get along with my sister, but... That's not a positive. Oh. <laughs> but... She does help me with things in school sometimes. Okay. I said that one. You're, it was a brother. Yeah. <laughs> I have a sister. We'll let it go. All right. And, um, um, my, my parents, Patience. um, taught me lots of morals okay. and good, and the values. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angie, you are the last group member, so you have two yellows. Can I eat one? No. <laughs> uh, my family is small, so there's not that many people to annoy me. Is that a positive? No, that's not really positive. Uh... My grandma lets me help her cook on Sunday, and okay. that makes me feel important. That's a good one. And uh, my parents encourage me to do well in school. Okay. And it helps me to be motivated. Okay, good. Now you guys can eat all your yellow.
let's do another color. Angie, how about you start? What color would you like? Purple. Okay. Ways you have fun. Those have to be positive things. Yes, partying does not count. Going to the movies with okay. your friends, playing soccer. Okay. <coughs> summertime. What about summertime? I don't have to be in school. <laughs> Something different about summertime. It's warm outside. So you time. have fun. I have fun because you can actually be outside and do stuff because it's warm. You can go to the pool. Okay. Yeah. You can go to the pool. And, uh, uh, fun. Um, going to a good restaurant and eating good food. Okay. You get to call on the next person. the next color. How about orange? Things you'd like to change or improve about yourself. You start. We'll start with Marty. I just went. I don't care. You haven't started yet. No. Okay. Um, ways I would like to change or, or improve things about myself. Yes. Um, like to be more responsible with my allowance. Okay. You still get an allowance? Okay. I also um, would like to would like to be able to pay attention to the teacher better. Okay. And not be so fidgety. That's a good one. And I'd like to be better at soccer. Okay. Those are all good. Pick the next person. Angie. I'd like to get better grades. Alright. Uh, I'd like to exercise more. Okay. nicer to people. Okay. Rebecca? Um, like to think before I speak sometimes. That's a good one. And I get to school on time, so listen to my mom when she tells me to get out of bed. Okay. Now before you guys eat those, I want you each to remember one of the things you want to improve about yourself, and then you're going to explain it in more detail. So Marty, pick one. So is manage your money. Um, get better at soccer. soccer. And pay more attention to my teacher. Okay, so pick one of those. I guess pay more attention to my teacher. And how are you going to accomplish that? By trying to find things that are interesting about what she's saying. Okay, what if it's just completely boring to you? I'll try to think of things that would make it more interesting. Okay. Like maybe even related things to what she's talking about. Okay. But at least that way I might not um, you know, disturb my classmates. Okay. Can I eat them now? Yes. Angie? Ah, uh, I like. Um, maybe to 
would get better grades. Okay, so how are you going to do that? Uh, by studying more. Okay. And by going to class and not skipping. Okay. And trying to pay more attention. Okay, good. Rebecca? Uh, I guess um, think before I speak more. Okay, how are you going to accomplish that? Uh, Don't something. Speak. <laughs> Angie, Rebecca had the floor. Sorry. If it's something that makes me angry, I've been told that you can count to ten before you say something back to the person. Okay. If it's like being mean to someone, I guess I should um, maybe think about how I would feel if someone talked to me like that first before I say something. Okay. Those are good. Sounds good. Okay, for the sake of time, we're not going to finish the other colors, but I want you guys to think about green would be words to describe yourself and red would be things you worry about. So let's each do one and then we'll close out. So Marty, why don't you start? Green, a word to describe yourself. Mm. Outgoing. Okay, and red, something you worry about. Fitting in. Okay. Angie? Word to describe yourself. Um, fun. Can you come up with something better than that? Uh, I understand you really don't want to be here, but participation is good. Word to describe myself. Um, Intelligent when I try to be. Okay. Uh, red, something you worry about. Uh, my future. Okay. Green, word to describe yourself. Awesome. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. <laughs> red, something you worry about. Um, going to college. Okay. Good. So did you guys learn anything from just this quick little blurb? Anything about yourself, about somebody in the group? Anything you guys want to present? I learned that maybe when Marty annoys me in class because he's been fidgety, that he's really trying harder and that I should not say anything to him about it. Okay. I learned that sometimes when Rebecca says mean things, she's just not thinking before she says them and maybe I should try to be a little nicer to her and when I respond. Okay, good. Marty, any thoughts? Don't have to, just asking. Mm. It feels good to talk about problems and you know how to do better. Okay. Then I'll remember it. Okay, good. All right, guys. Well, you did a good job in our first session today, and I will see you back next.